Yo, what's happening, my people? It's your boy Chance Jollivet, aka Smooth, back with another video. So tonight, got a quick little movie re movie review. So watch this tonight. It is like two hours and twelve minutes runtime. So it's kind of a long movie, but two hours is pretty standard nowadays and stuff. So this right here is Rebel Moon Part One, A Child of Fire, and if you are a Star Wars purist or something like that, like you, I, I don't think you're going to like this. It is a, a jack move. It is a full jack move of Star Wars. It is Zack Snyder's version of Star Wars. Like, uh, but other than that, like, I'm going to just, I'm going to put the movie to itself and just tell you a little bit about it. The cast, it's not like, the greatest case, it's not a bunch of A-listers, but it's a bunch of people that you look at and you see like, they look, look familiar. What he played on? Homeboy, I think he was he was Cyborg. Homeboy, I think he was on Game of Thrones uh, and on some other stuff. Uh, Yeah, Homegirl, she played on something like, you, you don't know exactly who the people are, but it's like, I seen it before. I seen it before. So the cast, it's... The cast is I. The cast is I. They do their thing. Like uh, the cast is like a B minus. Uh, the cinematography and stuff it doesn't look cheap. Like for the most part, it looks very like high quality and whatnot. Like some of the special effects or whatever, like might might look kind of like a PlayStation Five video game or something. Like is that a positive? Is it a negative? Shit, PlayStation 5, you looking good and shit, man. Hey. But it has that kind of look to a lot of the landscape and a lot of a lot of things. Uh the premise of the movie. So it starts off, there's this young lady, Cora. And she is living in this this little village. She is farming and stuff. They have a big storm ship that, that appears, and she is very fearful. It's like She's way more fearful than everybody else, but they are very dangerous people. So they come, eventually they start terrorizing the people around there. And then we find out some of her past. She isn't exactly who we think that she is. She's more prevalent than she seems. Um, she's more a more important person, of course. So, after they terrorize the, the, the village and stuff, she starts a little uprising to go against some rebel moons or rebel. She wants to rebel against people. And they they kind of go around starting to build a merry band of rebels. And so that's pretty much a lot of the movie. Them going around and building their their troops. They they go on different planets and stuff. I need this dude. I need this person. I need this female. Like it's a very diverse, uh, very inclusive with every genre of person or whatever. So there is that. That's very 2023-ish. You could say that as a positive or a negative. Like I'm not mad at it. Uh, but they, they're building their people up and stuff. And that takes a lot of the movie. Like that's most of the movie. Like that gets a little repetitive, redundant at a certain point. I feel like with how they could have fixed this, they could have started the movie off like kind of into their rebellion and fighting whatnot, have a little bit more action packed and maybe show like some flashbacks of how they joined together. To, to keep the ball rolling as far as action. But. It happens. A lot of like even the Star Wars movies. There's a lot of uh, dead space in some of these movies. So it just happens. Uh, it's. It's. I. It's I man. It's not the most terrible thing. Like. I've seen some of the reviews and stuff. And maybe because it's a direct. Jack, Jack move of Star Wars, but it's not super terrible. Like there are some points in the movie where they try to be like super epic, 
Like there's some slow mo and like just some poses when they when they fighting, just like, whoo. Like there's a little bit of that cheesiness and stuff like that. But is it an epic movie? It has epic elements. Uh, it's not the most epic thing in the world. It's kind of like a mixture like Star Wars, like Avatar or something like that, trying to be a just a big movie. But I think it, it's it's better than Doom, like at least Doom Part One. But uh, I think because they they gather was gathering a lot of people and stuff. I think when it gets to Part Two. Whenever they're more in the crux of, of everything, when everybody is together and they really getting it together. I think part two will be better. But since they started off as a blank slate, you got to do the origin story and tell the back story of uh, a lot of characters. You got to set up characters, character development and all that. So that takes time. But during that time, whenever you expecting like just an action-packed movie, it gets a little bit tiring and stuff, but overall, man, it was like it was like a, a C, a C C minus or something. It's a passing grade. It wasn't like no a seventeen on Rotten Tomatoes type movie, man. It wasn't that like the critics and the the people are trying to make it. And I love Star Wars and stuff like that, but some of the Star Wars not the greatest movies of all time either. Like the. <laughs> They're good. They're, they're great. They got some elements and stuff. As far as like just killing it in cinematography and setting the standards and stuff. But they got something that was kind of whack. Hey, keep it, keep it a buck. But anyway, man, so it was alright. If you like this type of movie, like I wouldn't deter you from watching it. Like you could take your two and a half hours or oh, two hours and twelve minutes. And chill and watch it, man. And if you don't have anything else to do or something, like, cool. Like, if you if you putting, if you have something else to do and you are watching it and you kind of, like, frustrated, like, I stopped what I was doing to watch this, maybe you're going to be mad. But if you got free time, watch it. And I, it, it'll be all right. As long as you don't take it too seriously and you ain't, like, Guns, a super gun ho about Star Wars and protecting the sanctity of Star Wars. But it's Jack and Star Wars. But, anyways, man, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated, man. Just had to drop by two cents, get a little bit of extra content on the channel and stuff, man.